where our colleague Moloko Moloto has been standing by, covering a different arm, uh, but an, such a tragic arm of the story. Um, following the confirmation from the Health Minister, Joe Pasha, that two more people have died in hospital, bringing the death toll of this fire to 76. Stories coming out today of uh, victims being uh, burnt beyond recognition, Moloko, making it so difficult for families to be able to claim their loved ones. You have spent some time at the mortuary there in Soweto. What can you tell us? Well, good evening, Marcel Gordon. Two days after that uh, inferno that has killed now, as uh, you are updating the number of people who perished as a result of it, uh, um, 76 now, the aftermath of it all is the one that is really causing a headache for the authorities uh, listening to the minister of social development on the other side trying to convince the people who are victims of this fire who are reluctant to go to the shelters on the other side as well when we spoke to the minister of health dr joe partha who was at uh, the helen joseph hospital he was also expressing some frustration saying that, uh, look, uh, we really want people to come forward and uh, assist in the process of identifying the bodies of the deceased. Up to so far, we know that uh, only um, 12 of uh, the bodies uh, that uh, are in this uh, pathology, uh, forensic pathology services center in Soweto, uh, you know, can be identified. The rest, um, over 60 of them, bent beyond recognition and the minister was saying that process of identifying them will require a dna process and that needless to say would require that uh, perhaps uh, family members who are related to the deceased must also come forward so that uh, tests can also be done on them as i'm speaking to you now marcel the two leaders the minister as well as the mec of health here in Gauteng. Nomantungo Morale Hoko are inside the offices of this uh, center. Not too sure exactly what they are doing, but they have been here for more than an hour or so now. And they invited us over to say they will give us an update the same way they did when they addressed the media earlier on at uh, the Helen Joseph Hospital in uh, Johannesburg when the minister announced that the death toll has increased to uh, 76 now. And we also were told that uh, in hospital now there's about uh, 33 people who are still being taken care of. And two of those are children who are at Charlotte Matlake Hospital here in Johannesburg. And uh, two of uh, the 33 are in uh, critical condition still in the intensive uh, care unit. Let's listen to Minister Joe Pata as uh, he was speaking to us earlier. So the big problem, of course, as, as um, you know, which uh, we, we are left with, is the fact that you've got... Uh, we've got 76 fatalities, uh, out of which 74 were those who, as, as the reports have been given from yesterday, uh, uh, who demised, uh, were found, uh, were demised on the premises, and then two uh, passed away, uh, you know, already in hospital. Uh, only two uh, are those who demised in hospital. Now, Maloko, you would have heard us um, uh, cross to Aviwe Mkila earlier uh, and hearing the Minister of Social Development begging those Malawian women to trust them and to take shelter with them. It's just one of the many nuances in the story. There's so many complexities involved here and there where you're standing where bodies are needing to be identified. Um, it adds an, an, an even more difficult factor because people are too scared to give their names, uh, to say where they're from, where they, where they live. It, it's going to make this kind of thing so much more difficult, isn't it? It is a dilemma, Marcel, and I think uh, just a short while ago, I think maybe 20 minutes or so or 30 minutes uh, ago, there was a group of about eight uh, men who walked out of uh, the building. I suppose that uh, they w were in a mutuary. Indeed, that is what they told me, actually, to say that they had gone in to uh, identify. 
However, they were not really willing to speak to us, even on camera, um, understandably so, for various reasons. Perhaps they are still uh, traumatized, or they simply do not want to uh, be appearing out in the media. And, and they did say that uh, they are from Malawi. Now, I have not been able to get from them as to whether they managed to positively identify any of the deceased uh, because uh, they were really not willing to speak to us mm. in detail. They were on their way out. The difficulty here is the fear of uh, being arrested and deported. Actually, last night at uh, where the fire happened, as uh, the speaker of uh, the city of Johannesburg, Colin Makubele, was uh, uh, still doing the walkabout as the only uh, senior official, if you like, who remained up to that time, of course, with the local councillor there. The, 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 there was a group of uh, people who were out in the dark, out in the streets, and uh, as much as they were being given food to eat, they were refusing, flatly refusing to board or to get into a bus that was parked there because they just did not believe that uh, if uh, they go there, they, their, their stay in the country would be guaranteed. And that already tells you that uh, we are possibly uh, 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 dealing here with uh, people who possibly do not have papers uh, to be in the country. And that's a dilemma that, as one was listening to the minister there, uh, 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 committing that uh, they would not really be deporting them. But of course, uh, Marcel, we all know all this, whatever that is happening, the incident that has happened and uh, all these intricacies, this and with the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, yesterday going there to visit, saying that uh, uh, we must draw lessons. This uh, must be a, a learning curve for every one of us. Everybody would agree that these are the repercussions, these are the consequences of lawlessness that continues to permeate across many parts of our country, the porous borders where people can come in and out unnoticed, and uh, they can even go and live in uh, conditions that are dead and squalid. And no one really, as much as the authorities are now pointing the finger of blame on the NGOs and the court, the fact of the matter is that the court are interpreting and applying the rules of the land. It is uh, those who are supposed to enforce uh, those laws who must certainly take the blame to ensure that uh, things such as this do not recur. We have had commitments, promises, by, particularly by those uh, who are governing in the city of Johannesburg, that they have a plan of uh, increasingly removing those who are currently occupying, illegally occupying these uh, particular buildings across the land and breadth of the city of Gold and ensuring that uh, they are refurbished so that law and order can be uh, restored in uh, right. Johannesburg. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for that update. Muloko Muloto reporting to us live there from outside the mortuary in Soweto. And it does sound like he'll have an update for us hopefully a little bit later on.